What's up guys, Luke here from Luke's Points and Miles, and today I wanted to share some news with a US bank card and kind of do a refresh on a card review. Now, I am freshly back from Disneyland in Anaheim, California. We flew in last night and I turned around and got up at 5 a.m. and went to work, so I am super tired. So if I sound tired, it's because I am. But if it's your first time on the channel, we talk about credit cards, cash back, rewards, points, miles, and crypto assets. If you're into that sort of thing, hit the subscribe button. We are bringing you videos at least twice weekly. And as always, if you get any value at all out of this video, hit that like button. And it will help us push this video out to other folks who can actually use the information. All right, guys. Your time is valuable. I don't want to waste it. Let's get right into it. Today, we are going to talk about a credit card from U.S. Bank. Now, for those of you that live in different parts of the country where there aren't U.S. banks, U.S. Bank is an American bank headquartered in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and it is the fifth largest bank in the United States. They have over $500 billion in assets, and the key metric for which I kind of gauge how big corporations are, they have over 69,000 employees. Really huge bank. Before I go on, I do want to preface this with U.S. Bank is a very relationship-based bank. I'll talk more about that here in a minute, but if you are interested in getting these U.S. Bank cards, I highly recommend you walking into a branch, speaking with a human being, opening a checking account, and establishing that personal relationship. Again, I'll talk more about that in a minute. Today, we're going to talk about the U.S. Bank Cash Plus card. Now, we reviewed this card before on the channel, but there is a new feature, and I wanted to go over the whole thing as sort of a refresh. First off, this card has no annual fee. However, I do want to mention it does have a 3% foreign transaction fee. So if you are a world traveler or you're traveling outside the United States, this is not going to be the card you take with you. It's not a world travel card. So Luke, what does it do? First off, I want to say it has a bonus. The bonus is $200 for only $1,000 spend in 120 days. Now, I know that's a little bit more spend than a lot of $200 bonus cards, but once we explain how we are going to use this card, you'll see that $1,000 is not very difficult to spend in 120 days with this. And that's because what the card earns. Now, this card is going to be similar in a lot of category bonus cards that you're familiar with, like Discover and Chase. This card is going to earn 5% cash back on two categories that you choose quarterly. Now, what separates this card from those other issuers is the limit is $2,000 per quarter on this one instead of $1,500 like it is with the Chase cards. Now, the categories for the 5% cash back are fast food, home utilities, which is a key because it is very difficult to get 5% cash back on your home utilities. And this next one is all one category, TV, internet, and streaming. And if you're like me, you have all three of those things as a monthly expense. That's a great 5% category. Department stores, cell phone providers, electronic stores, sporting goods stores, furniture stores, movie theaters, ground transportation, gym and fitness centers. So if you're renewing your gym or fitness center membership and you want to plus it up for the entire year, you pick this as a category, you pay for the whole year, 5% cash back. And the final category is select clothing stores. And with the selection, just like a lot of the other issuers, you will go to the website before the quarter and you will select your categories. The versatility of choosing new categories every quarter is another plus for this card. And you will also choose a 2% cash back category. This category obviously is a little less important because our bare minimum is going to be 2%. And you may already have cards that can do better than 2% on these choices. And your choices for 2% are grocery stores, gas stations, and restaurants. Not bad, but most of us, like I said, will have a better card to use. But if you don't, then this makes this card even more valuable. And the card will get 1% on everything else. It is a great card. I think it's one of the most underrated cash back cards in the game. And I think it is a great foundation card for anyone who pays utilities, anyone who has streaming, cable, and internet. If you have children, you, you probably have to have most of those things. Now, here's where U.S. Bank kind of pushed the needle a little bit. This card now earns 5% cash back on prepaid air, hotel, and car rentals 
when booked through the Rewards Travel Center. The Rewards Travel Center is US Bank's travel portal. Now you guys, if you're fans of the channel, you will know that I'm generally not a fan of ever using a travel portal, but this gives you an extra option. If you're like me and Marriott makes you mad sometimes, sometimes Hilton makes you mad, and every six months I consider being a free agent and not using a loyalty program, maybe you'll consider using a travel portal that gets you at least 5% back and you know, trying out some other hotels. Like I said, I'm not a huge fan of travel portals, but this gives you another option and this just makes this very underrated card that much better for some people. Now, this card also has a 0% APR for up to 15 months on purchases and balance transfers. Now, normally on the channel, we always recommend never carrying a balance, but we also understand that life happens and sometimes you may have a large purchase that you need to carry a balance for a few months. If that's the case, if you get this card, you won't have to pay any interest. Now, me personally, I think this is a no brainer. I actually went to a US bank, opened a free checking account. I think it's called the silver checking just to establish that relationship with US bank, just to get this card. They did give me a relatively high limit. If that matters to you, I think anyone starting a foundation of cards, they should be considering this as a no annual fee cash back card. Now, a lot of people, their foundation cards will consist of cash back. And if you are team cash back, we will always suggest you use a cash back shopping portal such as Rakuten. If you use our link for Rakuten below, you'll get $30 cash back on your very first order. Rakuten, in my opinion, is the easiest cash back shopping portal to track. They very rarely make any mistakes and you don't have to chase them down for your money, so to speak. So guys, in the comment section below, if you have used the US Bank Rewards Travel Center, go ahead and comment below, tell me about your experience. I just booked a hotel for New Orleans next month with the US Bank Rewards Travel Center. So I will report back and see how that goes. Hopefully we have no nightmares or anything crazy trying to check in. And guys, if you have stayed all the way to the end, I appreciate it.